Do you think that a change inside is possible without changing the outside, maybe living in a community like this or going away from the normal social... Um, I mean, it, it, of course, I can say that, you know, in theory, you can change your life anywhere without changing the outside of, of your life. Yeah? Of course, you could say that, <laughs> and maybe it could be possible. But I don't know anybody who ever did that. So, I mean, I think... It, 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 how can I say? I mean... You can't change your life until you want to change your life. And you don't want to change your life until there's a reason why you would want to change your life. Yeah? For example, Victoria was talking about this three weeks, or maybe it was already a month, when she felt so peaceful. So when you've experienced something like that, then you have a reason why you might want to change your life. Like she might decide that some of the people who she thought were friends she realized now that they are not really friends that serve her. So nothing against them, but you know, they don't really support what now is maybe her priority. And so maybe she'll make some different choice now in her life. Yeah? And um, I think pretty without question, I would say, something that's very unpopular is that that actually a spiritual teacher is needed for the journey. So especially here in, in Europe, there's a very strong idea, I can do it myself. Yeah, But I don't know anybody who did it themselves, actually. So all the people who say, I can do it myself, they haven't done it. They're 40, 50, they haven't done it. So then probably, if, if it would work so easily alone, why it didn't work, you know? Yes, they're a bit spiritual, and yes, their life is more quiet than it was before, but they're not living in this enormous peace that could be possible. And you know, once you've experienced that peace, I mean, now it will be very easy for Victoria to make various choices which maybe would have been difficult before. You know? Now maybe it'll be easier for her to spend more time alone, walking by the river rather than being in a coffee shop talking to friends, maybe that would be much easier for her. And to, to, to decide to come and live in a community like this is not something you can really decide. It's more like a happening, you know? It's a kind of happening because coming to a community like this is only for really crazy mad people. <laughs> you see? This is only for the people that really, 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 really want to live in peace. Our community is not very spiritual, but as you say, we work a lot, you know? It's not a spiritual community. This is a community of people who really, really, really want to live in peace. And that requires certain choices, you know? I mean, the ideas we hold in the society are very, very strong. The habits, you know, the kind of habits of what, it, what is the life, you know, what, what is the life, yeah? There are very strong habits. So the structure is the help for coming out of my own habits. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, somehow there needs to be some sort of mechanism, you know, to go from the old uh, conditioned ideas about things to something new. There needs to be, there's a process, you know, there's like a rebirth that happens. And this doesn't happen so easily. I'm not talking about it tonight, but you know, people can become very afraid when things start to change. It's not such an easy journey. It's a journey also, I think, that needs a certain safe, safety zone or safe, safe environment, you know, kind of uh, needs an environment 
uh, where there's support, you know, from other people who understand. And I would say that the energy in our community uh, is a great support because sometimes you feel like shit, absolute shit. It's not all lovely, lovely, but sometimes you contact something inside yourself, you know, and you feel like absolute shit. And that's not easy to deal with in the regular society, but in our community, everybody's gone through moments to feel like really shit, and so easily people support each other. And the whole energy field supports anyway. Okay, I'm not yeah. scaring you. <laughs> no, <laughs> thank you.